I swear I'm not just setting the scene with the dark lights. I have the tripod set up and I'm gonna talk while driving. Sorry that it's been so late uh, posting this, but it's good time for my American viewers. I told you I would tell you about a story on a personal level. So, there's a place called Inchicore, and Inchicore is, it's technically south side Dublin, but it's, uh, it's pretty central Dublin, I'd say. And for everybody outside of Ireland, then, Dublin, it's in Dublin. Now, in Inchicore, there was a place called Golden Bridge Orphanage. Now, Golden Bridge Orphanage was one of the places that you shouldn't go to, or if you were in it, if you were in the orphanage, it was a horrible place. Not just because it was an orphanage, but what went on in the actual orphanage. So the orphanage itself was in St. Michael's Estate, which is a block of flats, and a block of flats in America would be called, I suppose, uh, maybe the projects. It was one time that I decided that I would want to run away to this orphanage. I didn't know at the time that it was an orphanage. I didn't know that this place was what it was. I just wanted to go there because there was a girl there that I wanted to see. Now, I was probably about 9 or 10 at the time. Uh, I don't think I understood what was actually going on. I remember the day very clearly now. There's a lot of my childhood that I actually don't remember for some strange reason, but I remember this day. So, off I went. I didn't pack my bags, but off I went to the orphanage. I remember hanging around with all the orphans and just having a good time. I didn't care if they were orphans or not. I just thought it was this place that everybody went. I didn't, I hadn't a clue what was going on. But I remember it got dark and it must, I'd say it was probably 11 and 12 o'clock at night. 11 or 12 o'clock at night isn't a place that you should be at. Well, actually, you shouldn't be out of your house under the age of 10 at that hour anyway. Or even like maybe 15. So I went off and uh, my dad's car at the time had this, gr it had a sound and I knew it was my dad's car that was driving into the orphanage. I, I, don't, I actually don't know how he found out. And like the, everybody, my neighbours were looking in the canal to see if I drowned or everybody was running around looking to see where I was because I was missing for the whole day. And I remember my dad picking me up and the first thing I said to him was, is mom annoyed? <laughs> oh my god, I got in so much trouble that day. Oh, I never really got in trouble. I suppose, I, I, I'd, I'd say it was a bit of a nightmare to growing up but I never really got in trouble uh, but that day I got in trouble big time I think I got grounded for two weeks which was a huge deal back then like I know for other people I think if you probably cursed uh, you probably got grounded for two weeks but I was very mischievous growing up let's just call it that so yeah or the Golden Bridge Orphanage if you know it you know what I'm on about. Yeah, that was a little story about my childhood when I decided to run away. And I didn't, and I wasn't, I wasn't running away because my parents were bad or anything. It was just, I don't know, curiosity of a girl and curiosity itself got the better of me. Anyway, that is day seven. Oh my God, this is, this is seven days in a row that I'm vlogging, my God. And the reason why I'm posting so late is because I'm doing a coaching course and, uh, it finished at nine o'clock at night and I have to be in I actually have to be in tomorrow morning at nine o'clock again so yeah I'll see you tomorrow